waiting to get off of our luxurious yacht here. <laughs> Okay, I guess everybody's here. <laughs> a little bit sour. It's also a natural issue. Mix it with water, take the seeds out, and it gives them. So um, we used to have five cells of many, many of those tribal chiefs who used to live along the coast of West Africa. They were the ones who really opened the doors for those Europeans to come here and make slavery possible. But if you also look at history, those tribal chiefs, they really did not have any choice.
Another day. Working for this food, we out here working for this food. You heard the woman. We out here. Whoa, this, this beautiful day. Like, Watch when I show y'all the residence. Yes, oh bro. my like days. I'm in love. Yeah. Look at it. Like Look at it. They already. Yeah. No. Come on. <laughs> We're just fucking around right now. Oh. Today we are at. Excuse me. Uh huh. Restaurant Flamingo. Mm. And we're ordering the breaded chicken pasta. Mm. The body of Senegal. We are on an island separate from the country currently. And that's what I have. Through the village, we're Papa Gosh in the spot. <laughs> it's a nice day. We're about to eat. Let's get into it. He, like he is for being like Senegalese, and I've also seen that in everybody here because the way they talk about their culture, the way they share with other people, the dance, like they thought I was how to dance, like playing the djembe, they, like, they have made, they have made my journey here amazing. Because especially was learning about the history of Senegal with, um, I did not think that, you know, feminism or like the women leaders here were that prominent. Mm -hmm. So that was something that really intrigued me, especially when we had um, Professor Mbao and, Sorry, I love those lectures, and that, to be honest, like that's those were. I'll be completely honest right now. Those are the only lectures where I was like, and Professor Bashgarians, where I was like, <laughs> students of UCAD, like how um, their college life or university life is different from mine, how they're similar, um, and like, and how sports kind of negate a pretty severe language barrier. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. I speak 
very little French, they can attest to this, um, we really, really know a lot. Um, but like you get on the soccer field or the, on the beach, um, like you get in your team, you high five kids, you score a goal, you celebrate, you pick someone up when they, when they, when they fall. Um, it, and you just really feel, not like a local, but I, I really didn't feel like an outsider. And this has been the trip I've wanted to like go the most and that I have to work the hardest since going to college because of the visa and everything that happened. Professor Wilson and I appreciate you being there uh, on my side throughout the entire journey. I would not be here without you. And it has really changed my mind on like how important it is to speak, to be able to speak the native tongue with someone. I don't remember who it was, but there's a famous quote saying that like, talk with someone and you reach their mind, but like talk the native tongue, you reach their heart. And I can certainly feel that. And like being in Senegal and like, seeing women in heels casually, like everyone looking to the nines or like dressing like how they want to express themselves and like getting their hair done constantly and like the beauty culture being everywhere like all at once and being able to find beauty supply stores here, um, speaking to people about like what their favorite hairstyles are or just like the small, just like small intricacies of like the beauty industry here has been like an amazing experience. Yeah man. We out you with the gang now. We're about to go to this island. You got anything to say? Yes, sir. You got anything to say? Looking forward to it. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs>